Hi, and thank you for watching. Today we're gonna do a how-to video, and this time we brought the 7200 series of DVR, and this is an AcuSense DVR. On this DVR we can connect four analog cameras, and today we're gonna do a how-to, so we're gonna explain how to set it up, how to set up the AcuSense technology, how to do a playback, and what kind of features we have in the IVMS 4200. So let's get started. So we're now inside of the DVR, as you can see on this GUI. The first thing we need to go do is go to the system settings. So we go to system settings, we find the event, we go to smart event. In here we see a couple of options. First thing we need to know is that AquaSense is based on the smart motion the technology. So this means we can use line crossing or we can use intrusion. So line crossing we just will enable a line and when an object is crossing the line it will trigger the alarm and intrusion will we can draw an area and when, when an object comes into this area it will trigger the alarm so that's the basic difference between line crossing and intrusion today we're gonna choose line crossing to be able to use this function I need to enable this function so I need to enable the line crossing function and this is also an important setting because this is the event type and later on I will explain to you why this is so much important because if we're going to do the playback later on, we need to choose if we want to look for the event type or we want to like to use for the target detection, as you can see here. So AquaSense can define the target as a human and a vehicle. So if we are going to look and playback for this type of uh, event, we need to go to the classification, so the target classification. This is important for you to know. So the first thing you need to do is enable the line crossing. Second thing you need to do is enabling the human or vehicle, or you can choose them both. For today, we're gonna choose the human, and we're almost ready. Next thing we need to do is we need to set the line crossing. So I need to draw an area here. Let me select the line here, as you can see. Another thing I can do, I can change the directions. So as you can see on the screen right now, you see the small arrows that's defining in which direction I would like to detect. And the last thing I need to do is to set the sensitivity. So when it's, let's say we put it to 50%, this means 50% of the object needs to cross the line before it triggers the alarm. So you can play with this kind of sensitivity. After you have done this, we can stop the drawing and we can click apply. This is all we need to do to set up the AquaSense technology. So now we can go into the live view and see what kind of options we have there. So now we are in the live view and we have an option here. So we have the channels here, so you can see we have multiple camera connections here. And when we go to the target detection, there is a check mark that is smart detection. So what happens when I enable this? Smart detection means that all the smart trigger alarms, the smart motion alarms like line crossing intrusion can pop up the alarm and it will send an image to this live screen. So when I'm standing up right now and I'm crossing the line, it will pop up. An alarm in this case is using the AccuSense line crossing event plus the AccuSense target detection and you can see me right here. The next thing I can do is just double click on it or click on it and you see the playback the video clip immediately. But what happens if this something happened in the past? I need to do the playback options. So let's go to the playback options now. Inside of the playback, this is, might be the first thing that you would like to do. So go to the playback, but this is the event type. I will show you right here. So I'm selecting the camera. I'm going to custom search. And the only thing I can do here is to go to the event. So I can go to the line crossing event that I just set up uh, right now. So this is the type, the event type line crossing. So it's not doing the, the, the uh, target detection, the target classification. This is important for you to know. So I can press search and of course I will have the result. I can double click on it and I can play back like any other video file right here and I can export it like any other video file. But if I want to do the target classification based on human only, I go to file management. So inside file management, again I have the options to check on line crossing, like the event type as you can see here when I'm check marking the old files. But when I go to human files, this means I can check on the target classification human. If I'm selecting the vehicles, this means I can search and check on the classification on vehicles. So in this case, I will select human 
I can select the time period, I can select the camera, and I press search. In this case, it will pop up only the human classified target files. And I can double click it and I can play the video clip and so on and so on. This is, in a really short video, these are all the settings that you need to do inside of the DVR. Be able to play back and to find your event type and to find your classified alarm as a human or a vehicle. Um, the next thing we're going to do is go inside the IVMS and show what options we have in there. So now we are in the IVMS. And before we start, I would like to show you the version that we're using. So I'm going to About, and then you can see that I'm using the 2.8.22. So this is very important. So if you would like to have the same features, the same possibilities as, as I will be showing you right now today, please download this latest version from the portal so you'll be able to do exactly the same thing. So let's get started. To use the AcuSense system, we would like to search for behavior analysis or we would like to search for the classi target classification. So this means we need to activate some models that normally wouldn't appear. So as you can see here, these are all the models that are available. I need to select the behavior analysis to see the line crossing events and, and intrusion alarms. The vehicle retrieval, if I would like to do the target classification based on vehicles and I do the um, sorry, human body retrieval, to be able to search for human body targets. This is all we need to do and press OK. So now in my main screen, I will have these options available. I added the device already, as you can see right here. The DVR is connected to my IVMS 4200. So the next thing I can do is go to control panel, go to behavior analysis, select the DVR as you can see right here, select the event type, select what we did in the local DVR, selecting the event type, in this case we set up the line crossing and I can search for all line crossing events. Press search. So now I'll be able to play back exactly the event type, the line crossing that I did before. But what if I would like to search for the target classification, in this case for human or for vehicle? I go to the control panel again and I'm checking for the model of the human detection. It's here, human body retrieval. I do exactly the same thing. I will select the channel that I would like to search for. I will select the time period here. Press OK and press search. So now I will have the playback based on the target classification, in this case for human. Yeah. I hope this short demonstration is clear for you. Thank you all for watching this how-to video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much. See you next time.